Hi everyone, I'm Ferd and welcome to my video. This video, I'm working on an early 90s Sears Craftsman chipper vac. And this one, my brother had bought brand new back then. I remember when he first got it and took it out of the box and started playing with it. But anyway, these are like the early versions of the leaf blowers, the handheld leaf blowers that we, we have today. Those, if they even had any back then, was rare. So he was using it, I guess, and hit something big up underneath it and bent the fan on it. And it sat for years. And you know what happens to them when they sit around for a long time. The carburetors get screwed up and and whatever. In the video, you can see that it's one of these wintertime projects that got my coat on. But the bottom line is, if you've got one of these things and you've kind of gotten attached to it and there's problems with it like this one has, this video may help you somewhat. They are repairable. And they are decent for some people that enjoy using them. But for me, I I just didn't have any use for it. I couldn't sell it. Nobody would buy this thing. I had people coming to look at it thinking that it was actually a lawnmower. <laughs> and a couple of them were pretty ticked about it. But, you know, it description didn't say anything about this thing being a lawnmower but i i ended up selling this thing to some kid for like 20 bucks just to get rid of it it, it was in my way taking up a, a room in my shop and my garage at home i had it both places and I, I just needed it gone so if you see one in the garbage and you're thinking you're going to fix it to sell it to make some money good luck is there's not a market for them at all. But here I am restoring this thing. And if you got one, I hope you get something out of it and enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Ferd and welcome to my video. Got a little gem here to work on today. This is uh, like a 1990s uh, I call them billy goats. It's a chipper vac. You can uh, put little sticks down in it and chip them up, or you can push this thing along your driveway or parking lot and suck up the garbage out there. The problem that was had with this, they hit something. Something got up under it and it hit that blade. It's actually my brother who did this, but he kind of gave it to me in these pieces. But he told me that he went to try to pull it, to start it, and the thing jerked back and nearly broke his arm off. That instantly told me the flywheel keys spun on it. Here's the fan off the bottom of it. And you can see that the blades are bent. Hit something. Something got up in there and got jammed. The welds broke on it. So it did hit something and it spun the key on the flywheel. So the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the top of it off, pull the flywheel, and make sure the thing still runs before I go any further to it. Then uh, once it starts up and and runs. I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to straighten all them fins out and then I'm going to weld them and put this thing back together. And he's got a new one so we'll maybe put some new tires on this thing and put it out there for sale for somebody. So let's get busy. Okay luckily the gas tank is empty. I'm going to work on trying to get that off of there. It actually needs a new fuel line. This thing is like really hard as a rock. Let's go ahead and pull it off of there. Get, get it out of the way. Yeah. Looks like it needs a new cap. 
I'm not a big fan of the old Tekonski motors like this. As far as working on them, they can be a little more difficult than the Briggs and Stratton motors. Hopefully, I've got a keyway for it. A lot of times, they'll use a what they call a woodruff. It's kind of curved shaped. A lot of times you can tell how much trouble you're going to have by the smell of working on these things. When you smell that old sour gas, chances are you're going to be putting a new carburetor on it or rebuilding the old one. This is the old Terrell fixes all. Way of doing it. There it went. Whew, that looks okay. Okay, so what I found was the keyway was not spun on it. I poured gas in it. It fired up, but there's some damage right here. This thing's cracked. You know, when you pull this down, you can see it puts pressure on it. Well, it pushes it out. I'm gonna resell it and. I want it to be halfway decent for somebody that buys it. So I'm gonna pull the motor off of this thing, fix that where it's cracked. I'm gonna weld the fan on over there. So this turned into a restoration. I gotta get up under there, unbolt the motor, pull it off. I'll start taking things off from there and then I can see how I can repair this part of it right here. Shouldn't be too bad. The crack across here I've got some um, JB Weld on there, and I'm going to let that dry overnight. And then also, I've made this plate made out of aluminum, but it, it's going to fit over top of that to help give it some support back here. And then once it gets bolted down, it's really going to be solid. So I'm going to paint this black, so while that's taking overnight to dry, I'm going to go ahead and paint that thing too. And also, got the fan welded up, and it's ready to go back on the engine. So, that's where I'm at with it right now. We let all that stuff dry, and then we'll finish this thing up. All right, I just need to see if this thing will fire up. And right off the bat, my carburetor's leaking. The carburetor I had to take apart, and I cleaned it up, went through it, and I found that the, the float in it, if you can hear that, it's got gas in it, so I put a new float in it. Right here, you can see the the new plate that I put on it to support that crack that it had in it. That's been fixed. Got gas in it. This little clamp that I've got on it right here is just holding that safety switch on it. It won't start unless the the bag or one of the attachments is on the back of it. So let's see if this thing starts up and runs. Bag on. There we go. It's hard to get some leverage off this thing. I'm 
going to check the RPMs on that. And it just may be the way it is, but this sounds like they're kind of high. But other than that, this thing's ready to go. The handle can be put either way. You can put an attachment for a blower. It has a little chute that comes out to blow things off to the side. Or the handle can come this way to accommodate this bag. Let's put this on there. So there it is. Back together. It wasn't too bad. Well, I want to thank everyone for watching. Made it this far. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Help me grow my channel. And if you're working on one of these, have fun.